Hi there and welcome back to Valley Por Vida. Well, it can be tricky to dive into the world of mortgages if you're a first time home buyer and Lombardo Homes recent report shows that millennials face big obstacles including debt, high rent prices and even misconceptions about financial realities of real estate. So if you're a first time home buyer who just so happens to be a millennial or you know one, then we've got some helpful tips for you to keep in mind. Good morning. We're here to talk about millennial homeownership. The market is hot right now. A lot of people are looking to get their first home or find their perfect dream home. Um, but we did some new research with Lombardo Homes to figure out what exactly is stopping millennials from putting down roots and what obstacles they may be facing in today's market. So millennials all, when you ask them whether they have that home buying dream within their sites, the overwhelming majority said they are saving for a home, they're saving for that down payment. Um, but the thing that seems to be standing in their way is accruing enough money. Um, so most millennials say they don't currently have enough money to put down a down payment. Um, and a lot of them are citing their current rent situation as preventing them from getting that savings that they need. So there's always a lot of different ways people can save money, whether that means controlling your rent situation, finding something a little bit more affordable as you're trying to really hit that down payment hurdle. Um, but one of the things this research really revealed is millennials think they need a lot more upfront than they actually do. Um, the research really highlighted that there seems to be a little bit of a knowledge gap between how much money they think they're going to need to put down. Um, and that was another thing that really stood out. About two in three millennials say they can't afford something nice enough to want to buy. Um, it seems that the starter homes or the fixer uppers may not be the dream um, starter house for millennials anymore. They want the big house. They want something they're going to live in for a while. Um, so I think a, a big tip for millennials is just to really refresh themselves on the realities of the real estate market. Maybe they do have enough money for a down payment. Interest rates are really low right now. Um, so just kind of doing that little extra education about how their market is, what their interest rate could be, and how much they would actually need for a down payment. Lombardo Homes, when we did the research, um, kind of asked a couple basic real estate terms like appraisal, deed, assessment, um, and it was kind of surprising how many millennials say they couldn't confidently define those phrases. Um, so I think, you know, part of it could be millennials in the back of their minds are thinking, you know, I'm definitely saving for a home. That's what this nest egg I'm building in my bank account is for. Um, but they're not necessarily serious home buyers yet. And maybe that's because there's this kind of unattainable feeling of home ownership, whether that's financial or the commitment to one place in time. But I think everybody can always use with like a little home buying 101, getting familiar with what a principal is and what escrow would be. Um, and just kind of figuring out some of that, those basics that they say, you know, maybe home buying could happen sooner than I think. So Lombardo Homes were constantly is constantly putting out um, new research, new trends, um, whether it's about millennial home ownership or home ownership trends across the country. So you can stay um, in touch with what they're doing on LombardoHomes.com. Um, but one key kind of takeaway for millennials, I invite them to check out this research published online. Um, but also take a look. There's online calculators where they can figure out exactly what their home buying potential is. Um, and I think that's kind of the first step. You know, maybe think to yourself, how much home do I think I can afford right now? And just check it based off of your income, based off of your savings, and based off of some interest rate. And then you'll kind of get an assessment of, okay, right now in 2021, what does my home buying potential look like? Set a goal of where you want to go. And that'll help you decide, do you want to build a home? Maybe that's something that's attainable. Um, maybe you want to look at different markets outside of your immediate city. Um, the opportunities for home buying is kind of at everyone's fingertips right now. A lot of people are mobile, so there could be new markets out there for them. All right, well, martial arts has many physical and mental benefits, including development and entertainment. It's a great hobby and a professional a sport that many can engage in. So we went ahead and dropped by one gym in Harlingen to check out how you can get in on the action. Hi everyone, I'm Anastasia and welcome to Premier. Our team really cares about children in the Valley and we offer so many different things to help them grow. One of the things that's important to me is helping kids find and recognize that greatness that already exists within them and helping them find a way to draw it out of them. 
So imagine a time lapse of a caterpillar who blossoms into a beautiful butterfly. That's what happens right here on the mat. Sometimes you see, you see students come in super shy and in their own little bubble or shell. And then as we work, work with them and their confidence builds and grows, they just blossom into these amazing young children. Martial arts is not just about the physical, but the mental benefits as well. At Premier Martial Arts, we do have a leadership team. We're now, we are continuing our work on personal growth, as well as leadership and team, team building. So it's been truly an amazing thing to watch them go on this journey and be there with them every step of the way as they work towards their goals. Call us today at 956-428-KICK. And don't forget to visit their website for more information. All right, well that is all of our time for now. We want to thank you again so much for joining us this morning and be sure to tune in again next time because we'll be giving you tips and tricks to keep in mind when it comes to Texas insurance and hurricane season. We're talking Texas country music and RGB residents who are making a name for themselves in Nashville, Tennessee. Plus, we'll have details on how RGB students are getting school supplies for the new year. We've got all of that and so much more next time on Valley Por Vida. We'll see you then.